Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you guys something else than just a 360 or Moonwalk tutorial. This time I'm showing you guys a trick what you can do with a key. And before moving on, I'm going to show you guys a little clip so you guys might have an idea for what's going on. And without further ado guys, let's go. Here is the clip. Okay, so for those who still didn't figure it out, I was basically using a key with specific add-ons that makes me see the killer. Kinda looks like an object of obsession, but the killer cannot see you. You can see the killer, but he cannot see you. On this video, on this short video I showed you now, I was actually using the key a bit too much. But for example, you, you, you're you looping a killer at the shack and you're not sure where he is, then you can just activate the key and see, okay, there he is. Like. For example here, I, I just exaggerated with it, with it a little bit and there was no need for me to use it like constantly but as I said, you can use it if you don't know where the killer is. Not only in Shaq, you can use it in certain, like in different places. Of course, this trick is gonna work on the majority of killers but keep in mind guys, when a killer sees a key in the lobby, don't be surprised if there is gonna be a Mori or you're gonna get tunneled or you're gonna get, get camped because we all know that keys and moris makes you end games much quicker than usual. So also even if it's just a green key, like a killer cannot see what color the key is. So it's pretty risky to use a key and even if it's a green one, like I said, the killer does not know what color it is. Also what you have to know is that the key depletes very quickly. It does not work like an object of obsession that stays the whole game. I'm gonna show you guys now what add-ons you have to use to perform the trick. So for the first item is a broken key. I'd like to use a broken key because I know a lot of you guys out there have a character with a lot of broken keys on and if you don't know what to do with it, you can use it for this trick for example and it has 10 seconds of use but I'm using a add-on, prayer beads, that gives me an additional 15 seconds of use and of course it stacks but we currently using only one because the next add-on is the most important one and that is blood amber what blood amber does is it reveals the killer's aura within a 32 meter range but it greatly expenses the key's energy so what they are trying to say with greatly expenses the key's energy is let's say for example you're using a pink key a pink key has 30 30 seconds of use if you're using prayer beads with it, that adds an additional 15 seconds. That means you have 45 seconds in total. But the blood amber, of course you can see the killer, but it greatly expenses the key's energy. So you will only be able to use it for 20 seconds, which is still very strong. Like 20 seconds is enough to loop a killer. And if you don't know where a killer is and you're activating the key for like two seconds just to see where the killer is, that can already help you enough to escape the killer or to loop him even longer and yeah so that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching i know it's something different than a moonwalk or a 360 tutorial but as i promised i'm still coming up with a moonwalk and 360 hand cam tutorial and what i wanted to say to all of you guys is we just reached 10,000 views on our moonwalk tutorial which is absolutely mind blown and without you guys i wouldn't be able to do it I really enjoy what I'm doing and with your support guys it keeps motivating me and I really hope this video was helpful as well. I know it's something different but I really hope it was helpful and thank you so much for watching guys and see you in the next video.